Today we're going to break up our 10 minutes into two minute blocks. Our first two minutes, we're going to set the timer and get up and down off the ground in as many different varieties and ways as we possibly can. This is going to be your strength, flexibility, mobility workout all in two minutes. It's hard work, but you're going to stick with me. Then the next two minutes, we're going to do, spend some time doing some weird brain stimulating things. The following two minutes after that, we're going to do some balance and some vision and stick with me to see what we've got after that. So we've got five lots of two minutes. All right, the first lot, I'm going to set my timer. Two minutes, getting up and down off the ground. Are we ready? All right, here we go. Two minutes, start. So in this two minutes, I want you to get up and down in as many different ways as you possibly can. You can use your arms and your legs. You can use a chair or something if you need to, if you're at that stage where you can't just get up and down off the ground. You can obviously take it slower than me. But the whole point is how can I do this in a different way? Oof. And it's going to require a lot of strength and a lot of mobility and a lot of flexibility. Woo! Already my heart rate is coming up. I want you to lay flat on some of them as well because we have to get up from a bed, etc. Just try and change it as much as you can. It's been a minute. This is it. We've got one more minute to go. Puffing. It's such a workout, my goodness. Because I'm using so many different things. All right, we've got 33 seconds to go. Don't just get up and down the way you always get up and down. Try something unique and different. 20 seconds, keep going, try and get down one more time, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, that's the first two minutes, done, reset, have a breather, this might go over 10 minutes, but that's okay, now, the next one, what we're going to do is some brain stimulating exercise. This is going to be a little bit harder after you've lifted or elevated your heart rate because you'll be puffing and trying to get that breath back while you're doing this and concentrating with your heart rate up. It's actually more beneficial for your brain, but it's a little bit harder to retain that focus. So two minutes for our next one. Start. The first one. I'll come close to the camera. What you're going to do is kiss your fingers together. Then you're going to tap, kiss, tap, kiss. So it's open, tap, open, tap. Just get used to that for a minute because we're going to add something else into this, of course, in a minute. So now what I'm going to do is touch, tap, kiss, touch, tap, kiss, touch, tap, or touch, tap, kiss. Oh, gosh, see? Let me go again. Kiss. Touch, tap, no, touch, tap, kiss, touch, tap, kiss, touch, tap, kiss, touch, tap, kiss. See, I have to close my eyes. Touch, tap, kiss, touch, tap, kiss, touch, tap, kiss, touch, tap, kiss. Keep going. Keep going. It's hard. If, if you don't concentrate the entire time, you'll lose focus on what you're doing. You've got five more seconds. And it doesn't matter if you stuff this up and you're horrible at this. It's the rhythm. It's the trying. It's the focus. It's the presence. You're working the cerebellum. So it doesn't matter if you're unco because the cerebellum also deals with error codes. Okay. Woo! Our next one. You're going to give me a rock on, but to the side. 
and a little finger on the right hand. So left is rock on to the side, little finger, right hand. I am going to draw some figure of eights. I'm going to do two. So one, two, and then swap. One, two, swap. One, two, swap. One, two, swap. One, two, swap. One, two. That's already two minutes. How's that? Keep going. One, two, swap. One, two, swap. One, two, swap. One. Two, last one, one, two. I reckon we're going to give another two minutes dedicated to this hard stuff. All right? So let me reset that again. Reset. Another two minutes to this hard stuff. This time, nose and ear. So you're going to grab your left hand to your nose, your right hand to your ear, and switch, and switch, and switch, Ooh, and switch. Try to grab my cheek then, and switch, and switch, and switch. Good, keep going. Now we've got that pattern, let's switch it up. So now instead of grabbing the ear, we cover the eye. And switch, and switch, and switch, and switch, and switch, and switch, and switch. Let's go further away. Tap shoulder, tap shoulder, tap shoulder, tap shoulder. I still have my eyes closed. <laughs> Good. Back to ear. Bop, 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 Good. All right, this time we're going to make a square. So start with your right hand at the base of the square. Then you're going to have to turn the left hand into the top of the square. Bring the right hand down uh, over to the right side. Then you're going to slide the top of the box down. Make the top of the box and the side of the box. Slide, box, box, slide. Box, box. See, see how fast you can go. Now you've got a dance move. How's my concentration face? I'm like Madonna. Jeez, you have to think about this, don't you? Right brain needs a little bit of rhythm. Okay, we've got one more. Extra super hard one, a rhythm pattern. Bum, bum, clap, bum. Okay, so we're going to go slap, palms down, flip them over, clap them, clap the foot, clap your hands and start again. It's like in preschool. Down, up, clap, 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 down, up. in the last last few blocks all right feet together look at your finger place your other finger on your chin and go left to right with me okay left to right just the eyes move the head stays still beautiful then you're going to add movement into this like what I'm doing 
You're going to start walking slowly forward and backwards. Now, if that's making you feel a bit woozy, don't do the walking part. Just stick to staying still. One more, forward. And backwards. Beautiful. The next one we're going to do is some circles. So you're going to start circling really close to your face, little circles. Then you're going to take that spiral bigger and bigger and bigger and further away from your face. Put my finger on my, on my chin just to remind me not to do this and move my head. Now you're going to make it smaller and reverse the circle. Bring it closer as you do it. Keep your eyes on that finger. Tilt it tiny little baby one and you kind of cross eye. Good. <laughs> Relax there. All right, let's get a little bit of balance. One foot forward, one foot back. You're going to look at your finger down as if you're looking at your big toe, but look at your finger. You're going to swing it to the side and come back. Oh, and you're going to do the other side. Swing up. And come back. So now we're working balance and vision. Balance and vision. Now if that's too much for you, with your feet like that, you can bring them together. Just drop that head down to the floor. Okay? Keep going up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Now we're going to swing up and to the floor. Ooh. Up and to the floor. There's a lot happening here with balance. Up. Make sure you're looking at that finger, so if you have to slow it down, that's fine. Keep it slow. Up. Whoa! <laughs> oh, come on. And to the floor. Good. Like there. Woo! All right, let's finish with one more minute getting up and down off the ground. I know you can do it. Come on. One more minute getting up on the up and down on the ground. If you're extra special, let's go two minutes. It'll take us a little bit over, but let's do it. Up and down, let's go. Up and down. I know it's a hard workout, but it's one of the most efficient workouts that I could give you as a human being. All these workouts that we've done so far are amazing, but this is probably the best one because you are training just so many different unique things to get up and down off the ground. And you can use a wall or something. I don't mind. It's just creating movement. <laughs> Obviously, I'm pretty mobile and agile, so I can really play with my movements. You know, but if you are just working off simple that is totally fine as well, but try and change it up the next time around. Maybe you go and walk it out and walk it up. But if you are pretty mobile and agile, what weird things can you do to get up and down the ground? And you've got 45 more seconds. Oh. Keep going. Use your hands in different ranges of motion. Use your knees, look at how much knee mapping I'm doing. So many different varieties. You've got 30 seconds. That's it. And then you're done with this workout. This 10 minute boost. Keep going. Burpees. You do burpees for the rest of your life. You're pretty well set. See you again tomorrow.